This is a quick tutorial on using the Rails Internationalization TextMate bundle. First off, the bundle makes a few assumptions. It assumes that your locales are located in config slash locales and that the name of the files are the character code for the language and then .yaml. The bundle also requires a few gems. You can find a list of the required gems in the readme file. Once you have the required gems installed, you can go into the views and open an ERB file and you can begin moving strings from the ERB file into the default locale which in this case is English. So you can select a section of text and then hit command shift I and this will bring up a text box that will ask you to give the string a text key. What I'll typically do is just give it a similar name to the text in the string so it's easy to remember uh, and this depends on obviously how long the string is and, and such and then hit enter and what it'll do is it'll replace that string with the token that you entered and it'll put a dot in front of it and what the dot means is that it's going to look in the the, contr the uh, controller path and then the view path. So if we go down to our English locale, we can see that it moved it in to this locale and then it placed it under the help controller and the FAQ action and then it gave it this token. So if we go back to our ERB file, uh, we can see that there's also situations, let me move this down a line, where you might have a section of HTML within a paragraph that you want to move into your locale. The easiest way to deal with this is to go ahead and grab the HTML section, move it up a line, select it again, and hit con Command Shift Y. And what this will do is it'll place it in a capture block and that'll assign it to a local variable. Uh, and then we can we can give the variable a name. And then what we do is it gives us this token that we can place back into the string below. And then we can go ahead and grab the paragraph, hit Command Shift I, and we can give this a name. And then what it did is it noticed that the token for the variable was there and it went ahead and passed it in uh, with the same name as as the variable. So then we could also go ahead and um, change the HTML within this link for example. Uh, we can move that to our to our locale file. And so the benefit of this is if we go into our locale we can see that um, this this paragraph the nice thing is, is that the person who is translating this, if we're translating manually, they have the freedom to move this to anywhere in the sentence, wherever it makes most sense. And this video underscore tutorial, the name of that will kind of give them a clue as to what it's going to say. Uh, so then they would, you know, translate this separately, but they can still kind of fit it into the sentence. So once we have a section of text moved into our locale, we can automatically translate it into another language using Google Translate. The easiest way to do this is hit Command Shift G and that will bring up a box that asks you what locale you'd like to translate it into. And this is using the typically two character uh, language codes. So I'm going to hit ES which is for Spanish and then hit enter. It's going to ask me how I want to translate it and go with Google Translate for now. And then what it's going to do is it's going to grab all the strings that are in the default locale, which is English here, and that don't exist in the destination locale, which I entered Spanish. And so it's going to hit up the Google Translate server, get the translations, and stick them back into the destination locale, which is Spanish. So you'll notice it grabbed these three strings that we had moved into the English locale before and went ahead and translated them into Spanish. 
Uh, and you'll notice sometimes Google Translate can be a little funny with what it translates and I'm guessing what it thinks is a proper noun. Uh, but basically, you can your typical workflow is you're going to move strings from your ERB files into the default language, and then you're going to do the command shift G to translate them into other languages. There's another option for translation in the internationalization TextMate bundle, and this is to use a service called mygingo.com. MyGingo has about 800 people who will translate your strings by hand. They have three different quality levels for translation, one that costs five cents per word, one that costs 10 cents per word, and one that costs 15 cents per word. If you want to get an idea of what it's going to cost you to translate all of your strings, you can go up to the bundles menu and then go down to the Rails I18N uh, submenu and you can click this estimate translation cost on my Gingo. And what that'll do is that'll bring up a box that counts how many how many words you have in all of your strings in the default translation and then gives you a price on their three different levels. So if that's something you decide you want to do, you can go ahead and hit the command shift G again, bring up the box that asks you what you want to translate it into. I'm going to enter German this time. And then I can select the level I want to translate it at. So I'm going to pick this standard here. And then I can hit OK. It's going to ask me if I have a MyGingo account. And I could say no, for example. Um, it's going to bring, bring their web page up. And it's going to say, when I'm finished, I can come back and click OK. So let's just say that I went ahead and did that, signed up for their account. And hit OK, and it's going to ask me for my API key, which the website will help you set up. So I'm going to copy in um, my API key here. Then I'm going to copy in my private key. Next, it's going to confirm that I want to do the translations, and it's going to warn me that it's going to cost money. And it's assuming here that I have enough credits in my account to do these translations. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And then it's going to ask me if I want the jobs to be auto approved. Uh, and if they're auto approved, then I won't have to go on the website and manually click approve for each string. Now you might not want them to be auto approved. And in that case, you have the option to say this wasn't a good translation and, and you can you know get your money back for some of them. But I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. I want them to be auto approved. And what it's going to do, it's going to upload the strings to the MyGingo service, and then it's going to put a placeholder in the YAML file for where each job will be. So if we go to the MyGingo website, and then we hit reload, we can see that it uploaded each of these strings, and then someone will go in and manually translate these over time. And right now I'm in the sandbox mode, so this might look a little different you won't have these options, uh, but once they've been translated, you can go back into TextMate, hit Command Shift P, and what that'll do is it'll bring in all of the jobs that are finished, and you'll see it'll update these. And that's it. That's the TextMate internationalization bundle. Be sure to take a look at the README and. Feel free to fork it on GitHub and make any changes, and hopefully you'll find it useful.